All right, so here is my top five games of all time, kinda. In no particular order, starting with this one here, we've got Beasts of Balance. Now, Beasts of Balance is currently being portrayed and marketed as some kind of children's game, but it is still the only tabletop game to ever be sold in official Apple stores. It is defining an entire genre of tabletop experiences for me with its exciting vertical presence. And I call these kinds of games milkshake games because, well, milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. These are the kind of games that make people want to play games with other people. It's easy to learn, easy to get to table, has dexterity and a digital component. Like, has somebody been reading my diary? Parks is a really simple and chill game that reminds me of all the best experiences that I had growing up as a Boy Scout. It allowed us to do a lot of things like have outdoor adventures, get fresh air, go on nature hikes, share campfires with my friends. Those are all still things that I love to do now. So playing a game where I get to do those things while also still losing is a win-win for everybody, I believe. The best part of this game is arguably recreating the pictures that you take in the game with the pieces from the game and then retelling the stories that led to the picture that you took. And if you don't play this game that way, you absolutely should. Outside of nostalgia, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past and the Super Nintendo changed the way that I thought about video games. It transported me from being a filthy casual to a less than filthy casual with some skills that could at least make a down payment on the bills. Um, this game did a lot being from my favorite era of Nintendo and being my favorite game of that era. It's got charming 16-bit graphics, it has an iconic soundtrack, and it has puzzles that are just hard enough to keep me coming back and engaged. This game fits squarely within my top five at any time, all time. Anybody that knows me knows that Dice Throne is going to make this list anytime I make it. It's got a wonderful 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3 mode, and you can play any version of that that you want. It also has some pretty cool co-op modes. It's got a boss battle mode and a Marvel license right now where you can play as Thor or Wolverine. That's pretty dope. Now, the people at Dice Throne, the team there, they're my ride or dies, and I would do absolutely anything for them. So knowing that they have made a game that is as good as they are friends makes it one of my top five games of all time for all time. If you have never played Vampire Survivors, now might be the perfect time to walk away from this video. It is highly addictive, it is rewarding, and it's available on multiple platforms. Each and every single time I think that I have beaten this game or completed it 100%, they come out with more content. There are a slew of weapon combinations to use. There are things that work better on some enemies in different stages. There are unlockables and secrets to uncover. Chances are, that while you're watching this video, losing the game, or even thinking about the Roman Empire, uh, I'm playing Vampire Survivors. There you have it. That's my top five games of all time right now that I could think of while I was recording this video. What are yours? Share them with us in the comments on this video or on social media. Be sure to tag us at Love Thy Nerves so that we can see it. And as always, if no one tells you this, just remember it's true. Jesus loves you, nerd. <laughs>